Hey, this is James Pelton. I wanted to do Journey to 1K a Day in Stable Passive Income, Episode 5. I am a little bit under the weather. There's been strep throat around my house, but I will not let something as small as bacteria keep me from my goals. So looking at last episode, I was at 547.22 a day in stable passive income and total was 1,617 a day when you include the DGEN plays. So again, big question today is did I make progress? Am I moving forward? Let's begin. We'll start up at the top. First, we had Warbots and about $300. There was a 3% return, so it was a little bit lower. But again, in this space, I'm just happy when numbers go up and when they don't go down, because if as long as it's going up, you're making some progress in your journey. So I was happy Warbots went up a little bit. It is averaging about 7% a month over the last 17 months. So again, I'll leave a link if you want to get into Warbots. In my opinion, it's been one of the most stable crypto pr passive income plays that there is. So it's been making $22 a day with my 9K in there, almost 10K. Project 79, so the transition to Burlcore has moved over. So I got an extra 20% just from transitioning to Burlcore. So it's 80, I have about 81K in Burlcore right now. 5%, it remains to be seen where exactly this ends up at. These first few months in Burlcore, we've gotten way less, 1%, 2%, but they are aiming for more of a 5% to 7%. Also, Project 79 is reopening kind of their sacrifice model with the gold transport aiming at 5 to 7% a month. So again, I'll leave links for all that down below if you want to jump into any of that. BioFi, I have about 60K in BioFi, and you can get about a 30% APY if you stake your BioFi and if you partake they have some things you have to you know follow them on Twitter join a Twitter spaces some things but you can get that APY up to about 30% so on 60k making about 1500 bucks a month on that same with Constellation the price is way down on DAG I do have my node that staking and getting about 1.67% so about 162 bucks or five bucks a day from that flex node about seven bucks a day SkyFi I'm very excited about this SkyFi project I'll leave a link to the AMA I did with Pierre I just think it's cool I love tech I love drones so very excited for that it's not currently making a return yet but I want to just keep it on here to remind me to check that other crypto plays, I have iBots, which have been doing very well. I'm up to 2,700 bucks in there. So I'm making about five bucks a day from that. Archimedes is another one, did an AMA with them last month. I have a thousand bucks in there, making about a dollar a day. Then when we get to our non-crypto plays, so these actually haven't changed too much over the months. These have just been steady plays, but I have my Fulfilled by Amazon store making about 1500 bucks a month or 50 bucks a day. DLP Capital is a housing fund making 33 bucks a day. I have a storage unit making 13 bucks a day, e-commerce store making 28 bucks a day, and my apartment buildings, my part of a syndicate making about 120 bucks a day from that. This Amazon Reviews is a newer one where you can join the Amazon Influencer Program. I'll leave a, I did a full video on how you can get involved in that if you'd like to and I'll leave a link to that, but making about 35 bucks a day from that, and hopefully we can ramp that up. Again, they give a 5K a month guarantee after six months, and we're about three months in. I've been talking a lot with Kyle about ways that we can ramp that up, so hopefully we are able to do that. And YouTube channel, making about 74 bucks a day from that. So again, let's check the stable numbers. Again, the goal, number we're looking to beat is $547 a day. I did want to note one thing too, Forex bots, I, that money's gone. Okay, so what happened with Forex bots? We had some big, big losses. I decided the 15K that I had in there, I'm just gonna call a loss. I'm gonna spread it out between all the other holders to just make the loss as little as possible is kind of my goal. Again, my goal with the Forex bots was for no one to lose money. And so I was pretty disappointed. It's been making two or 3% a month and we had a day where we lost 12 or 15%. That's five months worth of gains right there. So anyways, I'm calling this 15K a loss. That's gonna influence my journey a little bit. That was 20 bucks a day I was making through that. So even with that though, we were at 547.22. Let's get a drum roll going for where we ended up for this month. 583.30. So we're about 40 bucks a day up from where we were before. And that's just in the stable plays. There's a couple projects, and you can let me know in the comments, do you think any of these deserve to be moved down to semi-degen or maybe degen? But then also as we're going through the semi-degen and degen plays, let me know if you think any of those should be moved up. So semi-degen, we have GS Partners, of course, which I just had moved up to semi-degen. I have 65K in there, making 264 a day from there. Secret project number one, again, I'm not allowed to talk about it on YouTube. You must join my community if you wanna know about that one. Some of you have said I should move that up to stable. 
I'm not totally convinced on that yet, so I'm leaving it down here for now, but 51K, 52K in there, making 200 bucks a day from there. Creative Wealth, Pockets Project that he's been working on, and some of the Forex funds. I give the option on the Forex bots. You can either move them to War Bots, move them to Creative Wealth, or grab a refund. So we're gonna be moving a chunk of that over to Creative Wealth and their bots. MDB and EMP and Comb and Olympus. I do love those. They haven't moved a ton from where they were before. So then when I get to the full degen plays. So again, some of you didn't like in the comments, the drip community doesn't like I put drip down to degen, but it is where it is. Drip had 42K in it, making about 400 bucks a day from there. ArcFi has been down quite a bit, have 5.6K in there, making 113 bucks a day. Wolf Capital, I know everybody's telling me to put more in there. I just, I get worried when you get in this late into something, like, is it gonna last? Is it too late? But you know, it keeps cruising along. So maybe that could be something that helps me in my journey. And secret number two, not another project that they contacted me and said, please do not talk about this on YouTube. So have to join my community for that one. I do want to add for next time, just putting this in as a reminder, Elephant Futures, because I do have some money in Elephant Futures. I just was a little confused as to how the passive income part of it works, but did an AMA, great AMA yesterday. I'll leave a link to that. I think everybody should watch it talking about Elephant and the future there. So Degen and semi Degen plays, Last time we were at a thousand, one thousand seventy dollars a day, and this month one thousand sixty dollars a day. So down just a little bit. So our stable plays were up a little bit. Our semi degen and degen plays were down a little bit, but total we're do we were doing about fifty k a month, one point six k a day, and this update. We are at 50, over 50K, 1.6K a day. So about 30 bucks a day up from where we were on our total. But I do like to see this stable moving forward. Again, we're aiming at $1,000 a day in stable plays. We had one stable play fall apart, but Project 79, you know, that 20% extra I got in there has helped. But I would love your feedback. What do you think I should do in this journey? What should I, what could I add to put up in stable that will help me towards this? Does Elephant Futures? be long up and stable. Let me know in the comments down below. But I hope you like this series. You can pray for me that I feel better. My throat feels like I've swallowed a thousand knives. But appreciate all you guys. Love this journey. Hit like on your way out. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thanks.